Hey, it's Allison, and this is another post-op tummy tuck update. It's the 20th of July, and that's uh, Tuesday, and it's about 2 o'clock here um, on the East Coast. I haven't done an update in a while because I keep forgetting my camera if I'm over at Scott's house, and I wanted to post pictures from his camera and whatever. So, um, I don't know if I told this here on YouTube, but I know I said it on, or Scott said it on Facebook, but they ended up taking 21 pounds of skin and whatever off. So that was really, 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 you know, great. Um, I made a bet. Uh, I guessed 15, guessed low. Scott guessed 24, and it was whoever was the closest win, so he won. And then my friend Jennifer and I and Scott bet um, some Starbucks, and she ended up cleaning the house with both of us. So I lost both beds. But, hey, I'd rather it been them winning and it be more than me winning and it be less. So there you go. I win too. But 21 pounds they took off during the tummy tuck. Um, they weren't able to take, I, as in my video I showed some of like the back stuff and the sides. They weren't able to take much off of the back. They did take some off the sides. There is still a little pudge on the sides, but he's going to uh, take care of that in the next surgery with the breast and arms. So it's just kind of a, it's a process, but it's a lot better than it was before. Um, I'm going to post some pictures probably here at the end um, of the skin that they took off. So if you're squeamish don't watch the end in the pictures um i'll show you a couple of pictures we took um let's see i think it was day four and yesterday i think anyway so i will post those pictures at the end just just to show you a few um pictures of kind of the progress that's going on and also the skin that he took off, and it is, it's amazing. It's, it's crazy. But that, um, other than that, like, the pain hasn't been as bad as I thought it was going to be. And <clears throat> there may be a couple things that are contributing to that. First of all, um, the, the gastric bypass surgery I had, it was a very, very tough recovery. If you remember some of my first videos, I was waiting to make videos, things like that, um, so that I didn't scare anybody, because I had a really tough time with that recovery as far as the incision and the pain and just everything. So I think maybe that prepared me for this, you know, also losing a lot of the weight. It was it's easier to get around with incisions and things like that. But of course there's pain um, and tightness and pressure, but it's not um, unbearable um, and it's not, to me, it's not horrible. So my experience is probably different than some people, you know, other people's. Some may have had it worse or better. I guess you just won't know until you get there. Um, another thing I think that made it easier was having that on cue pump um, that I showed you in the first video, first or second video. And that lasted, it's supposed to go a week and it was, I don't know, almost a week for me, five, six days. Um, and that numbs the muscles underneath if they tighten up, so that does help a lot. Um, the pain was a little, uh, a little worse without it afterwards, but it wasn't, still wasn't horrible. Um, the thing that I can say is more, it's more mental for me. Um, I am used to now being on the go, being able to go whenever I want, here and there. And it's you're you're limited. Um, I've gotten out of the house quite a bit more so than I think some other people, um, probably because they didn't want to. I just I maybe did a little too much at first, but I just wanted to get out of the house. And so, um, but it's still it's still taxing on you mentally because you're you got more downtime. And if you're like me, a lot of idle time is not very good for the for the brain. So that's been a little bit difficult, um, but I'm doing okay with that. Just, you know, recognizing what it is and trying to keep busy doing other things around here. But I should be able to drive pretty soon, um, so I know that'll help out. But um, I have my 
Next follow-up appointment on Thursday of this week. I'm hoping he's going to take at least one of the drains out. When I went to my first follow-up, he had two drains. He didn't take any out because they were draining pretty well. Um, so he didn't take any of the drains out then. So maybe he'll take both or one out this time because they're draining a lot less. Um, the scars look pretty good. Um, I'll show you a picture at the end. Um, we'll, we'll put... Um, Maybe we'll put a label on it or something so you'll know uh, what day that was. But they're looking pretty good. Um, there's a little pink around some of them. So um, I'm just really keeping a watch on it. And um, I'm going to show it to the doctor and stuff like that. Okay, so if you know anything about me, I have been, like, obsessed about infections and Oh, I got to keep it covered, this and that, asking all these other people. And most people are keeping it covered with just like gauze and tape and stuff like that. Well, um, my surgeon, the way he wrapped it, um, it, it wasn't covered like super well. And so I was like really concerned. But um, he was telling us, you know, he's double stitched it, glued it, everything like that. Um, and mainly the gauze is there not to rub up against your clothes and things like that. Um, but you know me, I'm all like, oh gosh, I got to keep it completely covered and whatever else. But I found something that works and it is hilarious. But hey, I am keeping it real and I told you I always would. So I'm going to tell you. Um, and if you're, if you just had surgery, uh, Dina and Trudy, do not watch this part because you'll laugh and it'll hurt. But, um, we figured out that... If you wear the um, adult underwear, depends, it covers up the incision and it doesn't scratch you or anything like that. And it's easier than going around taping each little spot. So, yes, people, right now, while you're watching this, while I'm making this, I'm wearing a depends. Well, the off-brand of it. But I'm not peeing in it or nothing. But it helps keep... These incisions are like down low and you're moving a lot and it's hard to deal with. So this works. So don't laugh at me because you're going to try it. Um, but I, I want to keep it covered. This, this does okay. Scott also did tape it up last night with the gauze or whatever. But um, my hips and everything's still big and the tape and all that, and it just doesn't stick very well. So this might just be a tip that you might want to use. And do not judge me because, hey, I'm being crafty. Um, and so there you go. Uh, the pins are not just for bladder control anymore. But yeah, and if you wear your regular underwear over it, it hopefully will keep it up. And do not pee in it. Don't, please don't do that. Um, this is just for covering your wounds, but whatever. Um, so that's about it. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just let me know and I will talk again soon. Bye-bye.